Hey everybody, welcome back to another video. We are here with Starlight Princess Christmas, as requested by Rich and Brenda. Uh, hopefully we get a little bit of that Christmas spirit left. It's been a little while, but maybe we're coming up on Christmas in July, and just like that, we get four scatters on the board. I didn't even get five scatters on the board. I didn't even get a chance to tell you that I'm using my free gold coins you get for signing up at stick.us with the link in the description down below before I even talked about spinning into a bonus, but we spun into a bonus. This is an 8,000 coin bonus. If we were to buy it outright, only cost us 100 coins to spin into it. Welcome everybody to a video. This is how it goes sometimes. Apparently, the princess did not want to listen to me talk, and she decided it was just time to play. Nice hit on the hearts there. I don't remember what top symbol is. I think it might actually be the hearts. Uh, already up to an 11 act with eight spins left to go. Uh, again, normally this would be an 8,000 coin bonus, but it is nice to spin into it because then basically anything is a win. Sorry, that is the top symbol. And we get the multiplier on the top symbol. Can we get hearts? We got hearts again. This is going to be a very, very good win. Uh, should be like 17,000. 17,000 coins just on that one spin alone. 20,000 coins starting off already a 200x win. Oh, wouldn't that be fantastic if it's Starlight Princess? the Christmas version that gives us our max win. I don't think it's going to happen. Normally the 50, 100 and up multipliers show up on those as I saw the other day uh, on someone else's on gates. So, uh, you know, probably not going to be on this spin, but certainly not a bad way to start out at all. 22,000 coins coming in on a base game spin in. That is fantastic. As I was saying, welcome everybody. We're here with another video. This is a special request and already special request you're paying off. Hopefully that's not the best we get so far during the video and uh, we get at least one more really good round out of the princess. But we're gonna keep spinning through the initial 20 spins as always. If we can get two more scatters here, work our way into an entirely another bonus. Sorry about that. I stumbled a little bit there. It has been a few days since I recorded something. I was way ahead on my recording because uh, I knew I had some stuff coming up that I was going to have to do and pay attention to, and I didn't want to fall behind. 2,000 coins on that top hit there with the top symbol. This base game is incredible. I really need to continue spinning on these videos. Sometimes they just pop up with these, these ridiculous hits. We are double the amount of coins that we, we even came in with. And we are well into our spins here. Well, if you are new here, welcome. If you are returning, welcome back. Once again, this is requested by Rich and Brenda. Uh, I do take requests in the comments. Go ahead and leave a comment down below. Let me know what game you want to see me play. And I should have no problem going ahead and getting to it. We're going to start off with a 4,000 coin bonus here. You know, there are some people who believe the way the scatters show up is some sort of, uh, I guess, uh, pattern to show you how good the bonus is going to be. Uh, I always thought one day it would be neat to take a look at a whole bunch of games and put together like a database to show you what the patterns were and what the wins were based on those patterns, but honestly, I just don't have that kind of time. Honestly, and I don't really think there's any sort of pattern to it, so I think it's all just uh, predetermined luck when you hit the button. One more moon would be great. There it is. Another 6x on the board. Sorry, another 8x on the board, giving us a 14x multiplier with 10 spins left to go. Absolutely not a bad spot to be in if she decides to play along and continue to give us zaps on matches. <coughs> there we go, there's another one coming out. Not much of a tumble board, however, so not going to do a whole lot more but up the multiplier, but I am game for a 17x multiplier. One more top symbol. And now give us the zap on this. That's all we need. No zap on the top symbol. But we hit the top symbol. That's the second time we've done it. First time was in that base game for a couple thousand coins. Only four spins left. Was looking good. 
no, we're uh, we're gonna struggle to even break even at this point unless we get one more good hit here. They're just getting the multipliers, which is nice, but they're not popping up on really good tumble screens, so we're not gonna get that continual hit. Last spin. Last spin, dead spin. Oh, that is a shame. But 3,400 coins back on a 4,000 coin multiplier here. Uh, not the worst thing of the world. <clears throat> not the worst thing of the world. You know, I'm going to head up that to a 5,000 before we go ahead and play again. It's the same pattern for the cat style, but up top. So maybe that makes a difference. Maybe it doesn't. You guys tell me what you think. Do you think the patterns actually make a difference as to what the game is going to be? Is there a way you can tell? Is based on how they're laid out, or do you really just think it's it's just fully random? One more blue star, please. Ah, never mind. A whole bunch more blue stars, and we get a zap on that 3x. Uh, not the best one ever, but it certainly did not let that one go to waste. Usually, when you get a decent tumble like that, the, uh, the multiplier doesn't show up, and it wastes a lot of the good tumbles that way, which is a real shame. But it is, of course, how the game makes their coins back after giving you a huge win in the base game. A few more hearts, maybe? Ended up with seven of them. Only needed one more to hit those. We are seeing an awful lot of the high-end premium symbols in these spins, which is far more than I'm used to seeing. All right, we got our last couple of spins here left. Wasn't going to say anything, but this is not going well as far as getting our coins back. <clears throat> we need an incredible last spin, and unincredibly, it is a dead spin. And you know what we say here? Say it with me. Last spin, dead spin. We're going to run that 5,000 coins right back, though. See if we can't get a better turnout for this one. I mean, not only are we playing with free coins that, you know, they gave us at the beginning of the day anyway, but... We're also playing with the free coins that it gave us in the win to begin with. So it's just free coins on free coins. We'll see if we can turn them into more, or maybe just give them back and have fun in the process. It's all good either way. What's not all good, though, is going this far in without a multiplier. But just as I started saying it, we get a multiplier and a retrigger. So we get all of those spins back, and we get a 2x multiplier on the board. <clears throat> now again, it depends on who you ask and what channel you're on. Here, I like to believe that the five extra spins we got come after the original because it's a bonus, and traditionally bonuses happen after, uh, you know, in most things in life. So when we get down to the last five spins, those are the bonus spins in my mind, so we'll see if they were worth it. <clears throat> We are, however, at a 10x multiplier, which is not a bad spot to be in. Nice 2x dropping in organically on the board there without the Starlight Princess's help. Give her a spin off so she can give us one of these really good multipliers at some point. We are obviously looking for the high multipliers on this, uh, preferably early and with a match so that we can keep the multiplier through the entire bonus. Nice 8x on the board there, giving us a 20x multiplier so far. Okay, 20x multiplier. I was holding out hope maybe she was going to do it again. <clears throat> that helps a little bit. Gets us to about halfway back to where we started here because it was not going well up until that particular hit. Last five spins. What's going on with bonus spins? That's a good tumble. Can we get a multiplier? We can. 25x coming in on this tumble. Still going through here. I am glad we got that retrigger because without the retrigger, we would not have just won 3,600 coins, putting us into a profit for the bonus buy. We would have been at about half back from where we started and probably not happy about it. Last couple of spins coming in here. 31x? Nope. Last spin? Last spin, dead spin. But that's okay. We won 6,000 coins on a 5,000 coin bonus. If you want to go ahead and spin all day long and give me another 1,000 coins every single time than what it cost me to get into it, I will play forever. Four more scatters on the board. As it turns out, that fifth scatter didn't really seem to matter. Um, it was just sort of nice to see. 6,000 coins coming in here. 
and then we'll probably do one more for a final buy to see if we can get one more huge hit out of the princess that was a lot of multipliers on the board if you are enjoying this video and you're having a great time and you're enjoying watching what you're seeing and listening to me talk uh, that last part is optional because I've had people tell me I'm incredibly annoying to listen to I've also had people tell me they enjoy listening to me. So, depending on what side of the fence you are on, if you aren't subscribed, take a second, go down, hit that subscribe button. It really does help out. Uh, we have been doing very well recently with uh, people coming in and subscribing. We really like to keep that momentum going. Uh, also, if you do enjoy the video, go ahead and hit that like button on the way out. It does really help out with the videos. I was trying to talk my way through this. It was a 5x payout. That is not the way we want to go out here. So let's go up and do a 10,000 coin buy-in. Uh, we'll still end up actually with more coins than what we started with, thanks to that huge bonus game uh, on the spin in there. But let's see what we can do with a 10,000 coin final game here, especially after, after such a huge loss uh, on that very last spin there. Maybe we can make up for it a little bit here. Cleared most of the board out. Maybe get some greens coming in here. That would be nice. I want another multiplier. Didn't, definitely did not see those coming. All right, 2x on the board. Really was hoping to see one of those blue multipliers throwing out a 15 or a 20x or a 25x multiplier. I haven't given up hope on the 100x uh, or higher multipliers popping up here, but I'm also not expecting to see any of them. I suppose that you never expect to, they just sort of show up. Alright, 9x on the board, that gives us 11x multiplier, 6 pins left to go. I do appreciate everybody coming and watching the video. If you are this far into the video and you are still here, thank you very much for watching all the way through. It is truly appreciated. Uh, I do very much enjoy making these videos, I have a good time playing the games. There's one of the blue multipliers I was asking for, but didn't get a hit on it. Last two spins. If there's a game you want to see me play, again, leave it in the comments down below. I do take requests. You don't even have to be subscribed, but it's always a plus for me if you are. The last spin was finally not a dead spin, but it wasn't much of a win anyway. 325 coins back. We got about 23% back of what we put into it. I appreciate you watching, and I will see you all in tomorrow's video.